breakfast time and I finally get to have an egg pancake. Egg pancake? I mean banana pancake. Mix my words up. Uh, I haven't had one for days because I didn't have any eggies and I finally got some so I'm gonna have energy because it made such a massive difference. Hey guys, so it is Saturday. I do this every time the 5th of August and today I am going to the regionals with Dexter um, we're going to Mount Ballon to do the medium which will be really fun I'm so excited I haven't competed for ages and that's just because we couldn't find any shows so kind of annoying but I'm glad I'm back to it and then I've got the regionals next week and then hopefully I can find more local shows to get to because I really feel that shows are what kind of pushes me forwards and kind of keeps me um, it's like my leveler so it stops me getting too kind of obsessed with one little area and then it also keeps me pushing forwards so lots has been happening since i spoke to you guys on monday um the horses are all going really well especially eagle he's going incredibly he feels really strong in a good way the babies have been really good although we did have a little bit of an accident yesterday so yesterday because the boys had been in the arena i decided to take them hacking and because they've been so good i was like i'm just gonna hack them um and then they're gonna have the weekend off so i took molly out first and we had a little incident with a car it came past a little bit too quickly um he jumped sideways and then his saddle slipped back um and it was kind of like a bucking strap and yeah i came off into a hedge luckily it was like a really nice fall if there's such a thing as that he handled it really well. We went home, got back on, came back out, and he was totally fine. So he's completely unfazed by it. I am trying to remain very confident about it. I think I'll be better once I take them back out again and I work them a little bit more next week. I know it's not his fault. It wasn't my fault. It was just one of those little accidents that can have happen with horses. So I'm not thinking into it too much, and I'm going to really try and remain positive around this. It can be hard after a fall, though, but that is what I'm going to do. So I'm really stiff today. Although I'm not sure if I'm stiff from falling off or from boxing because I went to boxing on Thursday night, which by the way guys is amazing. I felt like Muhammad Ali or AJ and I was like, yeah, poof, poof. Loved it, but I have hurt my knuckle. I'm gonna go back to work now and crack on and then yeah, we're gonna leave for Mount Ballon and I'm really excited. It's gonna be a great day. Hope it doesn't rain. I need to do some stretches and loosen up. Um, but anyway, let's go. Oh, so Abby's just reminded me that I was teaching at nine. I completely forgot. I remembered, it's okay. I did actually forget. an exciting day yesterday he says I'm sorry I just got really scared so Dexter's been getting ready for the regionals what have you done why do you look so muddy and so naughty get dressed first and then plait dexter because he gets ridiculously excited when he gets plaited up and he just rubs them all out so yeah gonna get dressed first so today is actually quite a special competing day for me it is actually the one year anniversary of when i kick-started my positivity it was this time last year before this show that i actually hit a point where mum was like you're not competing anymore you can't do this yourself you're getting way too upset way too wound up and it's just it, it's too much and it was that time when i sat down and i said look that's the worst thing that could happen is me not competing and i think that was kind of my epiphany i guess where i was like why am i worrying about the small things and putting loads of pressure on myself and the important thing is that i actually do get to do what i love and I need to remember that I love it and keep enjoying it and not putting all this, this negative pressure on myself. So yeah, it's been one year and I'm not gonna say it's been really easy. I'm not gonna say I haven't had times where I dip back down, 
but I've always from this point kept pushing forward and I like to me that's ridiculously special it means a lot um, and I'm actually really proud of myself for achieving what I've achieved in this year and staying positive so if you're in the same situation all you have to think is that it is doable you can change your mindset around you just have to really 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 want to do it anyway I'm gonna go and pull out Dexter up now get ready and then we are leaving at 12 30 so yeah let's go I really hope it doesn't rain it's thundering at the moment and as you can hear it's windy Oh, look at that cheeky little face. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby Dana. <gasps> Diesel, you never do that. Gate behind you. Never! We're late! There we go.
why. Yeah, that was my problem. That's why I didn't go forward. I can't expect it to do a really good test. You needed a wee wee. Yeah. So let's talk about today and I'm not going to sit here and say it's been the best day because up until an hour ago I was really upset but I always know that I always have that upset period and then I push forwards from it so I kind of know myself really well now and know that I always come out of it. It doesn't make it any easier when it goes wrong but I know that I can move forward from it. So we were late which wasn't anybody's fault, it was traffic and these things can happen but that gave me about 20 minutes to warm Dexter up so Dexter has a tendency to be behind the leg he's not very strong and unless I really ride him um, methodically and slowly and um, do all the things that I know quicken his hind leg and get him in front of my leg then yeah he goes behind my leg and that is what happened today I didn't get him in front of my leg in the warm up and then I had to go into the test and he wasn't properly in front of my leg and if you've ever ridden a horse through a test that isn't in front of your leg you will know the feeling it is not great um I couldn't get like square halts the walk pirouettes weren't very good um we still got 66.2 percent so I'm really happy because literally that's probably the worst he could go and he still gets a good mark so that's credit to him my initial feelings when I came out of the test and it's always how I feel. I never ever feel angry at the horse. I always feel so disappointed in myself at how I've ridden. Um, maybe I let my frustrations get the better of me and then I tried to chase him forwards and then he ended up kind of, well, what I call it is swimming, where a horse is getting pushed forwards and they're not pushing from behind. So the more you push them forwards, the slower they get. Um, but, but now I am starting to see how I can grow from this and how I can improve from this. And as much as it is a kick in the teeth, because of course every time I go competing I want to do well, um, I have learned a few lessons and I will tell you what they are. Number one, I haven't competed for a while. Now I know myself very well and I know if I don't compete regularly, I get kind of fixated on little small things and then I get into a test and I'm like, oh, like should have been concentrating on that. Um, so it is a really good wake up call for me and yeah, Number one, I need to compete more often, more regularly. Number two, I need to get Dexter more in front of my leg, but not by pushing him more forwards. I need to get him quicker behind, and I think I need to have a quicker stride rather than a more forward one. So this actually involves slowing his stride down, but getting it quicker, if that makes sense. So yeah, a shorter stride, but quicker. Not chasing him forwards and staying relaxed in my seat. Number three, leave more time getting to a show. Number four, frustration never helps you when riding. This is something that I know, but something that I need to learn to control even more. So I have learned a lot from today, as painful as it is, and I always say this, sometimes the failures, as hard as they are to take, they teach you more. So I'm gonna come back Monday, I'm gonna ride him, I'm just gonna have tomorrow off, and then I'm gonna come back Monday, and I'm gonna work even harder, I've gotta try even harder. There is more I can do, I can do this, I will do this. Don't ever feel defeated by anything. It doesn't matter how long it takes you. I've been going for ages now with this horse and I was doing really well and now I've dropped back down again. But I know I just need to keep pushing forwards. Stay determined, be like a bullet to a target. <sighs> that is my motivational speech, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. And yeah, I'll see you for the next one.